What is good YouTube? Today I have a really cool match against uh, the Beastly Gibble from Pokemon Showdown. You know, he challenged me and I was like, oh, why not? So he's going to lead off as a Greninja, just go straight for the U-turn. He gets a crit first turn. Crit didn't matter at all. Uh, I'm just going to U-turn off as my own going into my Tyrantrum because Tyrantrum is the best thing to handle the, um, the Volcarona. Unfortunately, I do mess my head smash, but whatever. I'm now going to go back in my fur throw because I figured Bullet Punch, but he then Mega Evolves going to Mega Scizor, so I actually... Sizz uh, I actually sucker punch predicting the uh, the bullet punch, but that doesn't happen. So now I'm just gonna go for headbutt because headbutt seems to be doing a, a little bit of damage. And then right here, um, I try and go for a sucker punch, but I actually went for headbutt and you know didn't quite cancel. But whatever. Gonna go into my Ferrothorn now because Ferrothorn counters his were pretty well. Go for the Leech Seed as he switches into Volcarona. Obviously, I don't want to stay on this Volcarona whatsoever, so I'm going to switch out, go into my Tyrantrum. Which actually makes a good play because he goes into his Ega Slash and uh, Tyrantrum is a pretty good solid counter. So you see the 77% solid damage to this Ega Slash. And that's partly because, you know, well, I'm choice banded. But <laughs> yeah, banded Tyrantrum is not something to mess around with. He does get a crit there. I'm going to say that crit kind of mattered a little bit just because it did a lot of damage. But anyway, now he's going to go back into his Greninja. I'm going to go back onto my Ferrothorn predicting like the Water Shuriken or something. But he actually just goes for Scald. He does get the burn. Burn's unfortunate, but burn doesn't really matter because, you know, I'm a Ferrothorn. Don't really need attack. But he's going to go back into his, um, his Volcarona's Eye Leech Seed once again, but this time I'm just going to fodder off my uh, Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn's not needed. And I really wanted to safe switch into my Tyrantrum, so, you know, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Just fodder that thing off. And now he actually outspeeds me, goes for Giga Drain, which is a bit unfortunate, but whatever. I'm not going to go back in my Greninja. I am uh, max speed. Timid, I believe, so I'm able to outspeed, get a crit. Crit probably didn't matter, but whatever. I'm gonna outspeed the Scizor now, go for another Surf. Specs Greninja does work, but anyway, right here, I'm gonna get threatened out. I'm gonna go into my Scizor, as he actually just Earthquakes away, which is like, whatever. I'm gonna now go for a Bullet Punch, as he actually Home Claws up, which I thought was like a really weird play, but I don't know. Uh, I'm able to get that thing down pretty low in HP, as he just kills me off with an EQ. That doesn't matter, because I can go back into my Greninja, Go for that surf. Take out that uh, take out the um, the Greninja, which is pretty cool. But anyway, he right here makes an over prediction, and he goes for extra sensory, and I just stay and go for surf, and that over prediction costs him. Now, actually, I didn't know what to expect, so I switched out went to my Gengar here, predicting like the U-turn. But anyways, I'm able to now two KO that thing with a Shadow Ball, which is pretty cool. And he actually told me after the battle that his Greninja's uh, scarf, which was pretty cool because mine was Specs. But anyways, uh, he's now able to kill me off the Surf, but I can live the Scald easily. I don't get burned, but... Oh, I do get burned, actually. I do get burned, but anyway, I'm able to kill it off because mine Surf's, you know, more power, specs, and everything. So, yeah, that was a pretty cool battle. But we're not done, because we have one more match to go through, and um, this is against Cookie Crumbs, also from Showdown. So, anyways, I'm using the same team, basically. I really like this team. Uh, I have it on my Wi-Fi thing. I actually have all the pokes, so you know I'm, I'm thinking about maybe bringing that team back, but whatever. Uh, right here, I actually predict the King Shield, which is why I went for Headbutt instead of uh, Sucker Punch, as right here, that Sucker Punch did a lot of damage, so if I actually went for that, I probably could have 2 hit with the Aga Slash, but that doesn't matter. But anyways, I'm not going to go back into my, Grenin uh, go into my Greninja now, as he actually switches out, goes out into his Ampharos, but that Ampharos cannot take two spec Surfs, and Ampharos is slow as hell hell so it can't outspeed me so I feel relatively safe going for another one so yeah now in comes this Kangaskhan I know probably the power punch is coming so I'm going to go into my Gengar because Gengar can resist actually is immune to most of Kangaskhan's moves so it's a pretty solid counter actually so he goes for Sucker Punch but that is unfortunate and it is going to be able to take me out but anyway I can go down to my Scizor and Scizor can easily take two power up punches and then I go for Sword Stance on my own so yeah I'm looking pretty good and I believe I, I just go for a Bull Punch here just he goes for Focus Blast. I don't know why he has Focus Blast on this uh, Kangaskhan set, to be honest, but he does. But anyway, he goes for Sucker Punch now, and now I'm in Ferrothorn, so I'm like, Ferrothorn, you can handle this thing pretty good. So I just go for Leech Seed, not wanting to overpredict or anything. In comes the Egg Slash, and the Egg Slash is just going to die to uh, Leech Seed next turn. So he gets a crit on that Sacred Sword, and I'm going to say that crit mattered because like now my Ferrothorn's like, all useless and everything. But anyway, I'm able to get up one layer of spikes, which is, you know, that's good enough for me. He goes for the Rapid Spin here, which I actually thought he was going to Shell Smash, and I went for Gyro Ball predicting that, but it doesn't matter because still, it's just one layer of spikes, it's fine. So, yeah, down goes Ferrothorn. Doesn't really matter because Ferrothorn wasn't really needed on his team. I mean, it kind of counters his Kangaskhan kind of well, but at the same time, I don't really need it. 
right here he goes for an icicle sphere and I'm actually able to live this icicle sphere which I like, down to the wire right there but I am able to live I am able to hit my head smash which is really cool and down goes the cloister and the cloister was a pretty big threat so now in comes Mega King it's gone he goes for outrage doesn't really matter because I have this game in the bag basically so long as I can hit so I go straight for a surf I don't know like I guess he could have sucker punch but sucker punch really wouldn't be doing that much and now it all comes down to whether I can outspeed the Gengar or not, and I do, I am able to outspeed, and I am able to kill it off, which is pretty, pretty cool. So, um, yeah, that was the, the battle for right now. I hope you enjoyed. You know, as always, leave a comment, like, sub, uh, dislike, tell me things to improve, and yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.